Hi, welcome to this reading vlog. Um, sorry, I'm being quiet, which is why I have my headphones in my stepmom is on the phone. But I needed to make a quick intro for this video. So, I'm going to start by reading Long Love the Pumpkin Queen because it's short. Um, so I can read that between today and maybe tomorrow if I don't just binge read it. <laughs> um, but on Saturday... Um, why did I forget her name already? Uh, Allie, aka Hardback Hoarder, will be, um, hosting a 24-hour live reading sprint, readathon thing. So, I'm gonna be participating in that. And I'm gonna be reading, uh, House of Leaves with her. Um, I don't have House of Leaves yet. That should hopefully be here tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's my reading plans for this weekend. So, yeah. Um, I also think I have some plans Saturday, which kind of get in the way of sprints. But I'll figure it out. It's fine. Hello. So I have two updates. Number one, I just finished this. That was such a ride, and I loved it so much, and I love that we actually got to learn things about, like, Sally's past and stuff, even though it's most likely not purely canon. I, I don't know if, like, like, even though it says Disney's Tim Burton... The Nightmare Before Christmas, like, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know if behind doors they were just like, Hey, Tim, could we, like, make this canon just because, you know, it's a... Because they, they are claiming it as a sequel to The Nightmare Before Christmas. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I really enjoyed that, and I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews, which makes me very upset, and... Like, how? How could you have a mixed review? <laughs> like, like, dude, it's good. Five stars. Read it. <laughs> if you like the if you love the name of Before Christmas, like me, read it. But also, I got a package. So we're gonna open this. If I don't hurt myself doing it. That's not fun. That's just make owl, makeup, brush cleaner, what are these? All these are thick. These aren't the important things either. I bought some fun little cards against humanity packs. We ignore those. Did this come with everything I posted? I didn't realize I bought as many of those as I did. Um, oh, Alright, so first book. We're gonna check it out. Or I'm gonna call. I don't know why this one's wrapped in plastic and the other one's not. But, oh jeez. But it is volume three of Lore Olympus. This is heavy. But I did get this. So even though I haven't read volume two. But at least now I can 
Read volumes two and three and just binge them out together until volume four comes out, which I don't think is now coming out till next year, which is kind of annoying. Although this book is very beat up and very dusty feeling. Very dusty feeling. Why? Why are you grimy? What happened? We're like touching. Is that why we wrapped in plastic? Oh my god. And this is already a four minute clip. It's just not going off. Well. Alright, anyways. So we have hand sanitizer wipes for. Like, are just watching me like a maniac? I just don't want it. Gross. <laughs> Anyways, you didn't see me do that. But the next book. Oh god. Paper falling out of it. Is what I'm gonna read tomorrow. We're reading sprints with hardback hoarder. This house of leaves. This book is huge. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. Even though I've seen it in stores. Oh god. Oh no. This is gonna be rough. Oh, the pictures are in color. Oh, this is gonna be odd. This is gonna be weird. I'm excited. But it's like, it's a puzzle. And I'm not good at solving puzzles. So, yeah. That's, that's my updates. My home. Hello. Sorry I look like a mess. I... <laughs> it's been a morning. Afternoon. I slept until now. But, for updates. I almost successfully did the whole 24 hour reading sprints. I ended up going to bed at like 4am. But... <laughs> What came out of that reading stream was, okay, so I got 11% in House of Leaves. I didn't get very far. It's dense. I started giving up. I only got to page 86, which I think is pretty good. Um, but Friday night, I was still in the mood to read after finishing uh, Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. Also, just to help me catch up on reading vlogs. So I started Howl's Moving Castle, and when I switched out books during sprints to take a break from House of Leaves, I got pretty far in. I'm on page 278 of Howl's Moving Castle. But I did win one of the giveaways, which was really exciting, and I am very happy because I've, I've never won a giveaway. Like, I've entered so many giveaways. You know, just for fun or whatever. And I know there weren't many people watching at that time. Because it was like... I think when that happened, it was like... I want to say 2 a.m. my time. 1 a.m. my time. So, somewhere in that range. And how she did it was it was like, okay. It's time for whatever giveaway. And then it was like, okay, enter a code word. And then, you know, everyone would type that code word in chat. And... Then she had this randomizer, because just putting in that code word entered you in. So, then she had the randomizer, and it would go doo -doo -doo, and it choose someone from the comments that commented the keyword. And at one point it was me, and I was like, oh. and it was like I had my stepsister here because I did miss a few hours of reading sprints because me, my stepsister, and my stepmom went, uh. To go do some stuff we did went to this place called Fonda Rosa. It's uh in Taylor's Falls, Wisconsin. Or it's just in Wisconsin. I'm probably wrong where that um where that location is. And then we went to an apple orchard and got apples, pumpkin pie, and pumpkins. Or not pumpkin pie, apple pie, and then got pumpkins. 
So, yeah, we did that. And, of course, yesterday she had to ruin my day by uh, being snippy with me. Because she plays nice and then she turns into a bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language. I know I try to not swear much on this channel, but it happens sometimes. I slip. But that was my reading for the weekend. So I'm still working between those books for till the rest of the week. It's Monday, by the way. If you're wondering. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird cut. I had to sneeze. <laughs> but I just got a book haul. Um, these books... I can't remember how I got all of them. I think four of these, four of these I have here are from Pango Books because Pango sent out a thing and it was like, use this code for $5 off, which is Pangoween if you have Pango and can use that. I believe it's still active. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but I got four books from Pango, and then I sold a few things on Macari. Even though I really didn't want to buy anything from Macari, because everything's really expensive. But I found a book series for, like, really cheap. And from the things I sold, I could just use the money I got from that to my, my earnings from what I sold to get these books. So I got a total of seven books in the mail today, which was, was weird. I thought I'd maybe only get like one of them today, but none of them. I thought, okay, I was going to get the first set I was going to show you because they're from another state in the Midwest, like me. I, and they're from, I think they came from Ohio and I don't know how close Ohio is to Minnesota, but here we are. But, I got the Match Trilogy. I've read this trilogy. I used to own it. I own this trilogy, but I didn't read it when I owned it. Um, I would just buy books all the time from, like, garage sales when it came around that time and, like, spring and summertime. But then I lost them, and then I read them in high school from the library. But, yeah, I got the whole trilogy... Someone was selling the whole bundle for like, I think it was like $5.75 plus shipping. But then it was, but it was like, so pretty much just eight bucks for three books. Heck yeah. <laughs> How much are these? Real total price, these are $9.99 each. Um, and then next, I finally, finally got The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. This is the sequel in the Deadly Education uh, duology. I'm so excited. I'm almost mad that it, this came in paperback because I was like, <gasps> I thought I got it in paperback and I was like, no, you bought it in hardcover because a Deadly Education that I have is hardcover. And I'm just, I'm getting to a point of I'm tired of having mismatched series. <laughs> but anyways... Next, I got the Cruel Prince trilogy. I'm finally going to try this. I've been seeing it and, you know, hearing everyone talk about it. And I'm just like, I want it. So, we got the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing. And this is my order from Makari, by the way. Since I should spe I feel like I should specify. <laughs> So, these are my new books for today. And I do have more books coming in. I just, uh, they haven't shipped yet. I have two, no, three, three I'm writing for. That were part of the one I needed for the requirements for the, um, $5 off with the promo code that Pango set out. So, yeah. In that whole range, it's two books I need to finish a trilogy. I haven't started it. I haven't read the first book. It's the Carval trilogy. <clears throat> With Stephanie Garber. So. 
I'm I've been thinking with a lot of these trilogies I have that I will maybe do a reading vlog where I just do a binge of finishing series as many or just catching up or reading as many series as I can in a week because <laughs> I also got Gods and Monsters I need to finish I have the first two books in the Kingdom of the Curse series I don't have Kingdom of the Feared yet because I need because I think I might wait on that one until Kingdom of the Feared is available in paperback because it just came out, so it's in hardcover. And I have the first two books in paperback. It's frustrating. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I'm going to go now. And I will update you guys when I have more reading updates. And stuff. <laughs> Hi. So, quick update. I finished Howl's Moving Castle. And I tried reading a little more of House of Leaves, and I'm just decided to DNF it. I can't, I can't handle the format of it. It's messy, it's dense, the fonts are just an eye strain. I... I get it, but like, I know it's all supposed to be spooky, it's not that spooky. And it's hard to be spooked or get any information. Because it's messily formatted. I I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just I just can't. <laughs> so I need to figure out something else to read for the next couple days. So yeah, I will be back. I'll figure that out and I'll give updates. So Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna end this vlog instead of what I was originally planning a couple days early, you know, well, I guess technically not, it's past midnight now, so, day early, right? <sighs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, um, and... I'm just, I think I'm just doing this just to make it easier for what I want to do. I'm gonna just try to do my binge out series because I'm not in a rush to finish anything. I pretty much read everything I wanted to in October. So, now I just want to read something I can take my time reading. Because this vlog is going to be going up on Halloween. So, yeah, and I am planning, just for fun, I'm gonna just throw it out there now, I will be wearing my Halloween costume in my October wrap-up, so trigger warning for clowns. Um, if you don't, if you don't like clowns, I guess I wouldn't recommend watching that wrap-up, even though my wrap-ups don't get many views anyways but that's fine <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um and yeah i will see you guys next time bye